Welcome back to another Spring Hill monthly market update. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Brandon Johns with the Coleman Johns Group. I'm a real estate agent here in Nashville, and we help families from all across the country move here and find their home here in Middle Tennessee. So if you're looking to move here in the next day or six months, give us a call, send us a text, we'd be happy to help you. We love making all these videos to help answer all your questions about Nashville and the surrounding areas. So we wanna be your real estate resource here. So reach out to us, we'd love to help you make the move. Now. Let's jump right into today's video. This is a Spring Hill monthly market update. And if you don't know about Spring Hill, Spring Hill is a city inside of Williamson County. Williamson County is just south of Davidson County. And Williamson County is where a lot of people want to move to. And that's simply because it's a great location. You know, you're just south of Nashville, so it's an easy commute but there's also a ton of amenities inside of Williamson County. And one of the big ones is Williamson County Schools. We have plenty of other videos. We actually have a Spring Hill playlist on our channel going into neighborhoods, um, the schools, you know, vlog style, map style to give you all the details about Spring Hill. So definitely check out that playlist. It'll be linked in the description below. Once you get an understanding of Spring Hill and Williamson County and just the Middle Tennessee area in general, you'll start to see why so many people are trying to move here and want to move here. So the demand is always high, at least it has been in the last few years and we're continuing to see that but it's good to have that background knowledge before you just jump into the data to try to understand you know, really what's going on inside the Spring Hill market. Now, first of all, I'm gonna give you an overview of all the numbers, what's happening, and break them down a little bit, but I want you to know that everyone's situation is different. Don't just listen to what I'm saying and apply it to your situation. It might be a perfect time for you to buy or sell, or for someone else, it might be a terrible time to buy or sell. If you want specific advice for your real estate goals, just reach out to us and we'll get on a call with you and one of our real estate investors and real estate professionals that we have in our network, and we'd be happy to guide you. Now, having said that, let's jump right on into it. We're gonna start with median sales price. And as you can see, I'm looking at the monthly chart. So I always wanna point that out because everyone's data is going to look different depending on where you're reading it. And it's just because of how everyone is manipulating the numbers essentially. So I'm looking at a monthly chart over the last three years. So this is based off of the median sales price of homes closed essentially in April. So right now I'm recording this right at the beginning of May and our data through April, it was $511,500 is the median sales price in Spring Hill in Williamson County. Now, as you can see, this was April last year, 688,000. Now, before we just go crazy about these numbers and say, oh my gosh, it's a 26% decrease year over year, I wanna point out that when you're looking at data in this time frame, you're going to start to lose you know, enough data to give you a real accurate feel of what's going on in the market. So for median sales price, I want to just show you like a rolling three months all right, yes, we're seeing decrease 540, 537, right? Um, and 640 here. This is probably more like, you know, what we're feeling in the market and negative 12%. Um, if we go back to monthly and I'll come back over to median sales price, but if we look at closed sales, uh, you'll see that we're looking at, and let me back this into five years. We're looking at some of the lowest closed sale numbers over the last five years. So in April, we only closed 29 transactions, right? In Spring Hill, Williamson County. March 2019, 33 was low, but as you can see, we're typically around 60. And so we're cutting, cut in half is, you know, closed transactions and we're even less in March. So February, March, April, really all of this new year, 2023, you know, right at the end of 2022, coming into 2023, we're seeing very little closed sales. Now, let me pull this back out to you to kind of paint the picture for you. Let me show you pending sales. So obviously you see movement in pending sales and then closed sales reflect behind pending sales because when you go under contract, right, it's like, you know, a 30 to 60 day close depending on the contract. And so you're going to go pending sale and then it'll take 30 days or so and it gets you to closed sale. So pending sales, as you can see right here in August 29, 28, we're starting to see a dip in pending sales, 32, 22, 21 in December. Now into the new year, we're starting to see a pickup, not all the way to 60 like we were seeing, you know, as the average or like seeing right back here in 2021, right? I mean, 121 here. That was the peak of it all. You got 74, 60, 74. So we're not back up there yet to the 60-ish mark, which would probably be pretty normal. 
um, work, but we are coming out of this bottom here in December and January right here. So November, December, that was like the lowest pending sales. And as you can see, then you start to do a 30 to 45 day delay, and that's reflected here on closed sales. Now closed sales 21, 35, 23. What we're seeing and what we could see going forward is pending sales is picking up, which is a good sign. We came out of this rut and we should see closed sales to pick up here. So we should see closed sales get back up, I'm assuming close to the 40 mark um, based off of pending sales right here. Now what we're seeing is transactions, closed sales right here in April, 29 transactions. So it's hard to say, okay, well, the market has dropped 25% based off of simply 29 transactions in the month of April. So that's why I say take this as a grain of salt when you're looking at the monthly. I would say rolling it out to a three month average, you're looking at 537, and then a six month average, you're looking at 548. So the median sales price is really around that 540K mark. Um, and if we look year over year, then you're up 1.7%. But I think it's closer just based off the data and looking at the last three months, we're closer to this negative 10%, 12% mark. But now let's take a look at new listings. As you can see, we've got listings are picking up. December and November was very low and we're coming into the spring market. We're picking up more listings, which is great. And our homes for sale is 131. So we've been pretty steady on the inventory that's available in Spring Hill. And what I want to point out, we're looking at the five year chart. So the massive run up that we saw across the real estate market in general in the United States over 2020, 2021, 2022. This was all right here. As you can see, a massive drop in inventory, tons of buyers stepped in the market, overwhelming supply. And that's what we saw here. But before in 2020 and before 2020, 2019, 2018, the typical homes for sale was around this 200, at least 200 on the market typically, right? Well, we're still only seeing 131 homes for sale right now. So the inventory still has a lot of pressure on it. So what this means is because our inventory isn't closer to our normal market, we're still going to have these prices propped up because yes, we have less buyers and less buyer activity right now, but because we don't have double the inventory right now, we're not seeing some massive discounts on homes with a limited number of buyers in the market. Now, one more number I wanted to talk about is days on market. And as you can see, I wanted to point this out because in January, when I made a couple months ago a video, I think it was February, we were looking at 48 days on market. And I was like, hey, the spring market's coming in. It's probably because we saw this massive dip in buyers at the end of 2022. Um, as you can see, you know, 48 days on market was the, the average uh, or median in January. and We've seen a nice dip obviously come off of that. Um, we are seeing 24 days on market. As of April, if I go to three months, we're looking at 22, 24, right? So around 20 days. But I will say, putting all of the data aside, let me talk to you about what's actually happening, boots on the ground, as I'm an agent here in Spring Hill. We are seeing open house activity skyrocket. There's a lot more buyers coming in these open houses. What may be surprising to you is we're actually seeing a lot of homes not even make it to their open house. For example, this week, it was the first day the home hit the market and it was priced in the 450 range. So this is important to know that if you're shopping under the median sales price of like that 540K, these homes, if they're priced right, they're going very quickly. So this home hit the market on Friday. It was around $430,000. It was in great condition. And because it's Williamson County Schools, great condition, it checks a lot of boxes for the buyers that are just waiting for these homes to hit the market. And there was multiple offers that day, 10 showings on Friday, and there was even showings lined up on Saturday, but they accepted an offer Saturday morning. And yes, this offer was above ask. So if it's priced right, there's buyers that are in the market ready to go and they're even willing to bid over ask. And that's important to know because if we go over here to pending sales, I think that is the closest stat to tell the story. We are seeing pending sales pick up, which means buyers are stepping in the market. And if we compare the number of transactions over the last few months, I mean, we're down almost 50% year over year in like the first quarter. But this spike is showing us that buyers are stepping back into the market. 
and we see that median sales price isn't just crashing because our inventory is low. So to sum this all up for you and give you the big picture, first of all, homes for sale, we're at 131 in April, and like I said, we are still below this 200 mark all the way up to 289 in 2019. That's a healthier market. That is a better balanced market. So we're still below that pretty drastically. So we're in an inventory shortage. Next, we are seeing pending sales spike going into this spring market. I am feeling open houses are skyrocketing. There's a lot more traffic going on. I am seeing multiple offer situations, bidding over ask if the home is priced right. Closed sales, remember, is a lagging indicator, so we should see a spike in closed sales based off of our pending sales spiking. And the median sales price is still around that $530,000, $540,000 mark. So I hope this gave you a better idea of what's going on in the Spring Hill market. And like I said before, everyone's situation is different, so if you wanna speak about your specific situation and how these numbers relate to you and what's best for you in this market, reach out to us, our contact information is below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're posting videos every other day, every week, every month about Nashville and the surrounding areas, important areas to know, new neighborhoods, the best neighborhoods, all the things that you need to know before moving here. And we wanna be your real estate resource here. So when you are ready to make the move, we are here for you. So reach out to us at our contact information below and we'd love to help you. I'm Brandon Johns with the Coleman Johns Group here in Nashville. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.